bit of info on Donald Trump 3. Now, you know, he's married to the Melania Trump, isn't he? He's good looking. I mean, Donald back in the day, back in the uh, sort of 80s and stuff, handsome enough man, I suppose. You know? I think of Donald sometimes, though, as, uh, with his boorish manners, if you know what I mean, he'd make a good professional wrestler. Oh, WWF, the old stuff. Various of Hulk Hogan, he's, he's got black underdacks on. And, uh, no top or anything, just black underdacks. Black. And they call him the president. You know, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny ideas. Or maybe in celebrity wrestling, Jack Black as, as Nacho Libre. I'll be in that too in the celebrity wrestling. <laughs> Get Bono in there and Mike Edwards from Jesus Jones and uh, celebrity wrestling. But Donald, you know, here he comes, term number two. It's coming, isn't it, America? Term two from President Trump with diplomatic immunity. He's going to make America even greater again. So, so they hope. The great white hope of the GOP, the grand old party, the Republicans. Apparently, back in the day, he squeamed out of army service. Had an excuse, he's got a sore footy or something like that, you know. <laughs> Hardly a commander in chief now, is he? <laughs> Gung ho into those Viet Cong or those Gulf War people. Possibly a legit excuse. Might have, might have been quite fit for military service. Don't know if he's a gung-ho fighter. But on diplomatic stuff, international affairs, he actually seems reasonably competent. I think in a war, he probably would organise it well. He'd probably be competent enough as a commander-in-chief when it comes right down to it. More of the officer class knows what he's doing. Biden would be okay, I think. Obama knew what he was doing. But Trump, he wouldn't be crap as he commander in chief. He'd get the job done. He's a mixed sort of thing, isn't he? Mixed reactions. I mean, on PC issues, ironically enough, like, you know, the gay issues and feminism and all that sort of stuff, he doesn't actually appear to be too sort of obstinate, I suppose, to the left wing too much on some of those issues. But the looks of it, sort of, mostly the standard thinking of, of the world at the moment seems to be Donald's on those issues, mostly regular enough society opinions. So, you know, some people have a go to him on stuff like that. But I'm not sure if they're, they're really analysing Donald Trump completely correctly on some of these things, which they think he might represent, which is more of mainstream by the looks of it. Tolerable enough, I think, President. Don't think people have assessed him quite correctly enough. I don't think he's terribly guilty on that capital rise thing. By the looks of it, he's not. He didn't directly plan it. It doesn't appear to be the case. I think they're probably barking up the wrong tree with some of the accusations which are being made. That's my instinct on the issue. I'm not saying he's perfectly clean. He's probably not, is he? But I don't think your president is you any real jail time. A president has to sort of have a bit of leniency on some issues of law because he's the head of a nation, or she's the head of a nation. They sometimes have to kick some head, which a boss man has to do, to get things done and going in the right direction. Empires aren't always built by, you know, the best of ethical decision-making. They do dirty deeds sometimes to get results. The ends justify the means. But having said that, no one is above the law, and it doesn't mean you can do whatever. But there's a diplomatic immunity, and that concept is in law for, for reasons. Because it's to get results sometimes, which are hard to get. In the overall structure of the mentality of diplomatic immunity, there is a point. It is trying to achieve the right sort of goal for its nation. There is a point to the doctrine, to the teaching. 
it is based in law when it comes right down to it. Self-defense somewhat, but taking care of your nation as a priority. If you have to break rules here and there, sometimes it's just the way it goes. To get the result that you need to survive. As Madonna sings, it's all about survival. And um, I do think Donald Trump knows, knows some of those ideas well enough. And you might be better off just letting that drop and agreeing with his argument, America. It's your decision, courts. It's your decision, high court, and so forth. But I think Donald Trump, he's not crossing any major lines. He's under control enough. And I think compared to Biden, he's a better choice. Biden's just too old and frail. He needed him 20 years ago. He looks pretty competent, actually, this Joe Biden, the president. But he's just a bit too old and a bit frail now. Looks like he could do the job pretty well. But you needed him back in 2000 or something like that when he was a bit more energy going, a bit more, a bit more pizzazz about the, the fella. I think Donald Trump is your best decision for November. That's my personal opinion. Feel free to disagree if you're watching this video. Feel free to have your own opinion. People decide what they want to. The impression they get of Donald Trump is valid enough because that's how they interpret life and the, the character of the man. But, uh, yeah, interesting. The president, WWE, watch out Hulk Hogan, here comes the Trumpster. Yeah. <laughs>